Imagine if she learns um, her first words from listening to us. And just oh be like a to- toddler running around with, welcome back, this is no. <laughs> just be like, no. <laughs> just like shouting it off the rooftops, like, no. My, my sister would probably be like, okay, Tess, this is all your fault. <laughs> Turn the beat of Bournemouth up. Turn the beat of Bournemouth up. No. That was Last Night in Paris with Been a Minute. Uh, you're listening to Nerve with Stephen and Tess. Hi. Uh, one thing that I wanted to, us to talk about, uh, it's a new sort of, well, not new, but um, up and coming trend in uh, 2016 in terms of technology is uh, virtual reality yeah um, so at the moment this is something that's mostly sort of taken the form of gaming but I think it can be used for other things like marketing and um, yeah I've seen it around quite a lot I've yeah. heard I've heard about the new roller coaster that's coming out that's virtual reality I don't okay. know where it is yeah well, but there is there, I don't know oh. I just I just <laughs> saw it on like thing and I'm like I don't like that I like to know where the roller coaster is and if I have virtual reality on so how just does that work? So you actually go on a real life roller coaster, or is it? Yes, yeah, so it's like a roller coaster, but they have virtual reality. What, what's the point of that? You're on the roller coaster on. anyway. I know. To me, it sounds like you know those rides where you get where you're like a, a simulator. That's it. Mm. That that literally sounds like it. Yeah. So I don't know. Well, I think in in terms of um, uh, gaming, like I said, there's something at the moment called um, PlayStation VR, which is where oh, people I can. I think I've seen that. Yeah. Actually. So people can put on headsets and sort of on their living room with their PS4 they can uh, play games oh, basically yeah. I think the idea is that it's more sort of immersive because you don't have any uh, background around you yeah, you're just the, focused the but. problem is it's like to me these games are like getting bigger and mm. becoming cooler if you like yeah but no one's actually like going outside because to me <laughs> virtual reality is just basically a laser way of saying that you've gone outside yeah do you know what i mean like that that's virtual but i'm not very <laughs> gamey i don't do computers and stuff like that i'm i'm the sport type so to me it just seems like weird but i understand why people like it mm, that's fair enough there are some uh, other problems as well i mean some people have been uh, feeling nauseous when they use it they've come oh, yeah. out and they actually be sick <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, I not suppose, ideal. Oh no, yeah. If you have an illness that makes you dizzy anyway, and feel yeah. Nauseous, yeah, no. Uh, not not to mention there's uh, supposed to be a lot of wires and getting away, and it, it's pretty expensive as well at the moment because it's fairly new sort of technology. How long has it been out? Um, well, I think this year, 2016, is when a lot of the main sort of products have been going towards the market. Okay. Um, but it's still like in the early phase, so it's it'll be interesting. I don't know. What do you think? Will it? Is it something that could catch on, or because one of the other oh, problems? I have no idea. Yeah. I think I think it's gonna be those things that catches on, and then just dies because people realise they're not going out <laughs> as much, they're not doing this, that, and so it's just gonna plummet. But then again, it's like in the gaming world, it's gonna be massive for a long, long, long time because it's new exciting yeah. it's a new way of gaming and stuff but I, I don't know whether the government are going to step in like in <laughs> 10 years time the government will be like no 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 it's making our kids obese you can't use it or something yeah. like something stupid like that but yeah I've, I've I don't know I would always I would like to try, try it. it yeah that's the thing It's it's got a lot of potential but you can't um, make a sort of certain purchasing decision unless you've actually tried it have you tried it no and the only way to try it would be to I don't know, maybe in the future we'll see uh, sort of pods being put into shopping centres or something where you yeah. can actually have a go and then maybe that'll convince you. Because do they have it in like shops for like you to have a go or not? Uh, is it just? I guess they will do it like a game shop, but I'm not too sure. I can't yeah. find a game shop though. Yeah. <laughs> find find <laughs> there, virtual reality. If anyone knows of any game shops that have virtual reality ones, me and yeah. Steve could go and then, then we can, we then can we report can back to you guys. Definitely yeah. If it's good or not. I don't yeah. know. Well, it'll be interesting to see how that develops, but uh, in, in the meantime, we've got uh, Tori Lanez with Love. Turn the beat of Bournemouth up. Turn the beat of Bournemouth up. Nerve. Welcome back to Nerve with Stephen and Tess. Hello. I want to know, what are your favourite bands that have split up, that are no longer a band? That are no longer a band? Yeah. That hurt you oh. the most? Well, I don't... I don't know. I think we were all a bit... We struggled to contain ourselves when Busted broke up. Oh, my God, yes. Back in the day, but they are... Thankfully, they're, they're make Busted now, so... Well, no, they're actually... They're, they're Busted now. The original trio are Oh, back okay, okay. So, um, All right, I can, I can deal with that. We're healed. I can deal with that. 
Oh, I don't. No, I know. I, mm, I don't really follow bands though. I just listen to whatever. I'm not really like a. Not like any. Not like I'm not like hard. a One Direction fan. No. Like where they. To be fair, that was quite sad when One Direction broke up. Was it? <laughs> well, I think other people thought it was sad, but that's okay. What about you? Uh, one of the bands that I was a bit upset about uh, splitting up was The Enemy, which is not not a particularly well known band. Yeah, um, I, was say, I haven't heard of them. What, yeah. so, what songs do they sort of do? Like, uh, it's kind of like just British rock music, basically. But it's um, I wrote an article on them yesterday that you can check out on Nerve if it sounds uh, like it'd be of your interest, and uh, on Nerve website. And um, uh, one of the problems, one of the factors that they said was the reason why they had to finish was that there wasn't enough. Uh, room on the airwaves these days they weren't getting played on the radio enough yeah um so in an ideal world i'd play them for you now but we don't have them on the system so that sort of <sighs> says it all really so oh, they um, sound like they sound like a good band though i think it's good. always it's always trouble when you're like in a band because you always had that uncertainty mm. i've just thought of a band take oh. that oh take that are they are they not still going i think they are but I don't They've I think that's sort of one of them left yeah, again so there's and three of them bit, wasn't haven't there? they yeah but I used to love them but obviously think, Robbie Williams went off and did his own thing yeah I think there was like four and then five and then three and then I not, don't know not how that many I would, does no, it no not that I follow it or anything <laughs> <laughs> no you don't follow take that so, what are you on about <laughs> uh, so anyway what we've done instead is for, uh, I've gone with a cr- request for our next song and, oh uh, who's it from uh, it's from Jake Kinahan and if you have any requests, you can send them in at Nerve Radio. Or even if you just want to chat with us and keep us company, you can send them in at Nerve Radio. And this is uh, Chauncey Dagger by the Fratellis. Turn the beat of Bournemouth up. Turn the beat of Bournemouth up. Nerve. Excellent singing and dancing there, Tess, throughout that song. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, do, I do love that song. So when it does come on, I end up singing of course. quite loudly and dancing very badly. So oh. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, well, uh, we've been with we, with you for the last hour, and we uh, have indeed. We've got to move on once again. Um, but next, fortunately, we've got these things called lectures. Oh, yeah. I don't really know what they they are, but I mean, who knows? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but following on from us, we've got uh, Charlie and Chloe. They'll be here at two o'clock. Uh, so in the meantime, we've got um, "Nothing Really Matters" by Mr. Props. Amazing song. <laughs> <laughs> 